Hey guys, I've been spending some time recently with the brand new Audi touchscreen MMI system. So I want to share it with you guys, show you some of the really cool features and do kind of a overview and tutorial of how to use this latest generation MMI. We are in a 2019 Audi A6. So in the middle, we have virtual cockpit and then we have these two touchscreens. Go ahead, we'll turn the car on. Everything lights up. Virtual cockpit has been around for longer than this touchscreen system. So, so uh, some people might be familiar with it, but the giant, uh, it's entirely all ATFT screen, digital. You can change your viewpoints. So you can have the speedometer and tachometer a little bit bigger, or you can minimize them and have the information in the middle. We have vehicle info here. You can scroll through your memory for uh, fuel economy, driver assistant, and then if you go horizontally across with these windshield, not windshield, with these steering wheel mounted controls, you can go to, this is uh, infotainment type of stuff, your media, and then we have telephone, and we have the navigation, which is probably one of the coolest things you have seen. I'm in, right in downtown Ann Arbor, and you have the entire GPS as your, essentially your dashboard in the middle of the entire screen. So, virtual co cockpit is a little more on the straightforward side. This vehicle also does have a little heads up display, you can see it out there. What I want to focus on is this touchscreen setup, which, Initially, I will admit I was not entirely in love with because as you can see there are fingerprints and sometimes a little more complicated to get through menus and having just a physical button to hit you it's a lot easier you don't need to take your eyes off the road and look at your screen but after spending some time with it I am really getting used to it and it has some really cool features and it really does show you how this is the future so basic interface wise this seems to the lower screen controls most of your vehicle settings in terms of uh, climate you've got you can see on the bottom row of heated seats cooled seats air conditioning sinking of the uh, AC stuff and then equivalent over on the passenger side for heated and cooled seats you can adjust the temperature here it's touch sensitive where you can scroll up and down you kind of hear it clicking and you get a little bit of vibration and the actual temperature shows up there too so that's pretty cool same with changing the intensity of your airflow you can just simply set it to auto interaction wise we have to note that you have to actually push on most of these things if i want to control my heated seat it's it's not like your phone touchscreen you actually have to use a little bit of force you hear it click it vibrates slightly and that's how you control this but it also has that kind of just touching sensitivity without applying more force as you saw just doing this type of thing. Digging a little bit deeper, these little three dots um, universally kind of just means more options available. If you click that, the top screen shows you your heated steering wheel, syncing your climate, rear control, AC max, um, kind of uh, the extra things that wouldn't quite fit down here. You can see the graphics are really smooth. Everything is very crisp. Little graphics of the seat here allows you to change the direction of your airflow. At the very top, we have some more shortcut buttons, essentially. Uh, auto stop start off if you don't want your engine to turn off when you come to a stop. We have lane keep assist. These are shortcuts. I'll come back to that. And a couple more features as we go on. This actually turns off the screens entirely up here but you can wake it back up with another tap. Here are shortcuts where you can set like radio stations. So uh, I like BPM on Sirius XM, so I set that down here. Um, through the top here when you have the radio, you can add it to this list. And you can see these swipe gestures, just like an iPad, uh, an iPhone, any sort of touchscreen modern tech device, really fast and responsive. Down here we have Audi Drive Select, arrows to go up and down through dynamic, comfort, auto, and individual, traction control, hazards, and then your defrost stuff. But there are some actual physical buttons here. Start stop is an actual button to hit. Here is your parking sensor stuff, which we'll show you that because that's one of the coolest parts of this MMI. We have a blank space there. This is for your driver assistance levels. And then we have a physical button for toggling front and back on tracks and adjusting volume and mutant, which is nice because you remember on some of these touchscreen systems like Cadillac Q, you had that stupid swipey touchscreen bar that you'd like turn the volume up, nothing would happen, nothing would happen, nothing would happen. Then it would all of a sudden jump to maximum volume and deafen you and your passengers physical things are still nice to have so that is pretty much all the functionality and features of the lower screen um, you can actually adjust the rear sunshade back there it's it's going down in the back Moving on to the top screen. This is essentially the, the home menu. You can see these little tiles. And like I mentioned, same with the previous lower screen, you have to also click to have it actually. But I noticed this. If you just tap, it does a really cool thing. And see the headlights kind of like light up. And then if you hit media, the speakers like move. Phone, there's, there's a little action item for everything. If you were to just t t tap it, look at that. 
that's pretty cool. So if we were to actually go through to the radio, it would naturally open up your radio. Got BFM playing, I'll turn that down. Go back to home, you can change your sources. Media is if you want um, Bluetooth connected. Uh, external devices. You can also go through on this left side menu that kind of corresponds to certain things here. Your phone, I, mine's not connected right this moment. Navigation will pull up here and look at that. It's mirrored there and here. So I can enter my information, search. We've got uh, all sorts of things available. I was at a Japanese restaurant recently. I used it for that. Farmington Hills Audi service. Um, so this is as you would recognized with most navigation systems just with a touchscreen interface and you saw how quickly things happen it's it's very fast responding really crisp um pretty much what you would expect to find in a modern electronic device a smartphone or something now vehicle this is where it gets really cool uh, i'm going to show you guys right now the interior lighting because that is amazing nighttime is absolutely the best opportunity to showcase the interior ambient lighting so to change the colors we go to vehicle light and visibility we go to interior lighting and then set the contour you can choose drive select and when you change your different drive select modes uh, it actually changes color so in dynamic it's red auto it changes same with comfort now let's just say we want to manually change colors we have contour we have maritime which becomes this nice blue color solar impulse we scroll down we've got something called vision caribbean which looks that looks pretty cool and then individual you actually go in here and you can adjust settings so the line we can change brightness and we can change color so there's there are so many different color choices that so you can have the lines one color and then the footwell another color so we can keep playing with that we change the surface you can turn the footwells off manually uh, I don't think that turned off actually. Um, the colors. We can make that green and make the footwells orangish. That is very cool. So that is how you control the interior ambient lighting of the latest Audi systems. Coming back, we have actually an extra way to control Audi drive select. You can set your things. You go to individual. This is just an A6, so we can configure drive and steering between how you want it to feel. If we go back, parking aid, driver assistance settings, climate control, seats, efficiency assist. This was kind of interesting, like accelerator feedback, pedal feedback, some, some stuff to help you improve your fuel economy. But now we get to Android Auto. So this is actually really nice because it's a touchscreen. It responds great. Um, most modern cars are now coming with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard. One of my chief complaints of a car I was driving recently was an Alfa Romeo. It, had Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but it didn't have a touchscreen. So you had a little rotary knob that you had to turn and click and select tiles across it. So it was, it was a horrible interface. Imagine using your iPhone and you don't have a touchscreen. You have a screen there and a little rotary knob. It would just be so difficult to use. So Google Maps is there. This is the home button to go back. So this is something I noticed. You don't need to actually click. There's no feedback like the haptic. This is just like a touchscreen like you would have on your phone. Um, you can pull up Spotify. Be the right key. Oh, there we go. Spotify. Uh, let's see. So that's 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 a different um, interface uh, interaction as you would find with just the regular MMI system. We can open up Waze again. This is now using Android Auto. We'll go home, exit, go back to the full thing. We've got a settings here. This allows you to change vehicle settings. Um, let's see language things like that media so this is similar to previous mmi systems that you would interface with the rotary dial now it's all gone to a touchscreen you notice there's no dial here it's gone just the touchscreen now and i'm happy that the touchscreen is responsive because otherwise it would be infuriating like some of the early ones and then we got a couple other tiles um i don't have a subscription for weather so that's not working right now navigation phone everything so that is a quick overview and tutorial of how to use your audi mmi touchscreen system as vehicles continue to advance and they kind of keep pushing these more advanced systems they are becoming a little more complex a little less intuitive especially if you weren't born with an iphone in your hand um older generations might struggle and honestly a lot of the clientele that are buying cars in this price range utilize uh they aren't as familiar with this technology so a lot of dealerships now have like a dedicated person when you buy a car they give you kind of a tutorial and a walkthrough on how to use these systems now if you're more familiar with this type of technology you can pick it up quickly 
but I'll be honest, it took me about a day or two of spending time with the car and discovering some of these features and playing through the menus and being like, hey, I wonder how I change this type of thing, or hey, how do I set my individual light colors, and clicking through it and figuring it out. As a, from a review standpoint, I am, I've been impressed and won over by the Audi system. I don't think this is something I would want to keep for a long time, because you imagine, infotainment technology is what dates the interior of a car. If you look at something from five years ago, the infotainment is what really expresses its age, because technology advances so quickly. So, I think it won't do as well long term, but in the current moment, as a very modern, advanced, almost futuristic feeling system, I think it's great. The reactions are really fast, it has very crisp graphics, and it's done well where I can control and access things that are actually surprising, blew, blew me away. I was like, whoa, I can do that? That's really cool. So overall, Audi MMI touchscreen uh, system, I am impressed with it. I can say now that I like it. I hope this video was helpful, and if you're looking to get some guidance on how to use it, if you bought this vehicle and you're getting a little bit overwhelmed or confused, uh, just a quick little overview, but I would advise you just to keep playing around with it. Otherwise, this is something for you guys to see what it's like. This is the, the newest MMI touchscreen system or virtual cockpit. This is where a lot of these vehicles are going now. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.